Has anyone yet disclosed to you all of the discreet and sensual details of the languid tale of Mr. X Random? The X stands for Xanthus, which means yellow. It's the 24th letter of the alphabet. Well, I don't have time to elaborate with all the details, but what I can tell you is that Mr. X Random, we can call him Mr. X for short. How old is the girl? Is she thinking of the past or the future? Is she lonely or happy? Why is she in the attic alone? What happens next? The attic is a pleasant place for the rich and for the high. But the attic is a cruel place for poor folks such as you and I. There is a misgiving in the attic, right there alongside the method in the speculum. The girl probably wants some of her yarns to come out straight, but she probably wants some of them to turn out curved and sometimes some of them even crooked. No matter what, it's a woolen line she'll have to give us when she's finished. Who can really say what she wants? We don't even know if she's happy or lonely. Mr. X always says he wants to be the dock side, but he's always looking at the downside. Suddenly, inside the attic, Mr. X stresses his sense of restlessness and generalized irritability. He extracted the line from the scene, and he extracted the scene from the act, which was there in the middle of the volume. The dialogue went something like this. He said, Wisdom is a comfort, humor is a delight, and a keen sense of right and wrong is a blessing undisguised. She said, Mr. X, it is wrong to disassociate yourself from the commentator. Why wouldn't the mother potato and the father potato let their daughter marry Walter Cronkite? Because he was a commentator. Everything you know, or actually everything you think you know about the subject, the truth is what you really know is what you have learned in the natural course of explanatory discourse. What have you actually seen, Mr. X, up here in the attic? The quiet moonbeams? The broad, deep shadows of the ruined wall? The voices that rent the air with shouts? What time is it? Where are your manners? What becomes of the dead? He said, Foreshadowing devices have the effect of enhancing the inevitability of the action. It does not reduce suspense or uncertainty. If, in fact, if executed properly, it can serve to heighten these sensations. This much is clear. Though we may not care very much about the gift of seeing ourselves as others see us, we put a high value on the gift of persuading others to see us as we see ourselves. This is banter, grave but pure banter. I want you to become my intended. She just looked at him, trying to think of something that would surprise him so much he would laugh. She suddenly realized that the timing of the whole exchange had been poor, and that the whole commerce of laughter was a cheap trick on us all. And nobody knew her name, and we'll leave it at that. <laughs>